This video will walk you through how to update your privacy settings on Facebook. Facebook has actually gotten a lot better at this over the years and has a quick shortcut you can get to, but I'm also going to take you through where you should also pay attention to your privacy settings. So what you want to do is go to facebook.com and you should see a kind of home feed, all the things that you normally look at and what have you. Um, you'll want to go to this question mark and you'll click on that and you'll see a privacy checkup link. Now you can click on anything like privacy account securities and everything like that. You can absolutely click there. This privacy checkup is a really friendly way though to kind of get you started and just take care of some more ir urgent issues you might want to update. So privacy checkup, what it's going to give you is four options and you can and should click through all four of these. So I'm just going to click on these uh, initial ones. I'm actually not going to walk you through every single detail because then you'll see all my details and I like privacy as should you. So with the privacy checkup, it does give you a guide for each one who can see what you share, how to keep your account secure, how people can find you on Facebook, and your data settings on Facebook. So if we click on who can see what you share, it will walk you through your profile information, your posts and blocking. So it gives you who can see your posts uh, as you put them up. Uh, you can change that from all the way from public back down to only yourself. It'll also look at your profile information as far as your phone numbers, email addresses, definitely letting you dis letting you decide who out in Facebook can see them. Uh, I actually made some updates myself with this where I was like, oh, I didn't realize that everybody could see this or not everybody could see this. So it's a great thing to walk through there. You also can click on how to keep your account secure. Is your password private and controlling your alerts. This one allows you to, uh, it'll alert you if anyone is logged into your Facebook account from a certain app or somewhere else unless you decide how you want to be alerted to that. Plus it will uh, just give you the opportunity to update your password. I do recommend a very strong password for Facebook especially. Um, and if you need to use a password manager so that you can log into it or, or find it again, if it's really complex. Phrases are awesome when you use password phrases and then just various, use various uh, symbols or numbers throughout the password. Those are great, all right? Then you can also uh, change how people can find you on Facebook. So how can people find you to give you friend requests? Who can give you friend requests? Can they find you by phone number or email? This one's an important one too. Do you want Google, like search engines like Google to be able to display your profile to people who might be looking for your name? You can set that to yes or no. So that's an excellent place to review. And lastly, your data settings on Facebook. Uh, this will walk you through apps and websites. I'll actually hit continue on this one. Uh, what it'll do is it'll say, look, here are the apps where you may have used Facebook to sign in um, and, and or maybe you did a quiz or um, anything like that. Do you want these apps to continue to have access to your Facebook or continue to use them through Facebook? And you can actually click remove. And when you do click remove, it'll let you decide how you want to remove them. Do you want to remove any posts that you made with those apps, etc. Okay. So those are great. It's a fabulous little tool that they've allowed you to use. Of course, it is a little bit obscured in the question mark up top, but you can get there. Now I do recommend, however, once you go through all four of these guides, do click on the settings. This is going to take you into your own settings and I'm actually going to click right on here, privacy. I recommend you go through every single one of these tabs since you're in here already. Uh, the privacy is, is going to go through everything you've already looked at with that review. However, timeline and tagging. You can control who can post on your timeline, who can see posts, and your stories. Uh, can people share your posts to their stories on Facebook? You can even filter certain comments that have words in them, certain words, uh, by turning this on and putting which words you don't want to see. Um, who can see posts that you're tagged in, etc. Uh, would you like to review those posts before they appear in your timeline and so on? So that's a great one to review. They also have the stories one. Uh, would you like to allow others to share their, uh, your public stories to their own story? Yes or no. Uh, or to share your stories if you mention them. Location. That's a great one uh, is that you can turn your location history on or off and view your location history. This is a big one, especially for mobile uh, device users, because uh, Facebook will absolutely track where you are. It's why you can see certain ads for certain things based on where you're standing. Blocking is amazing. Uh, you can block users, you can block messages from users, you can block certain apps if you're tired of seeing them because your one friend just sends tons of app invites or, or alerts from it. 
events. Maybe you are tired of getting events from a certain person, uh, but don't want to unfriend them. You can block those and block pages as well. So a great way to keep some control there. There's also some language and regional settings. Uh, that's pretty standard. And lastly, not sure if everyone's aware of this, but you can turn off or on face recognition. Facebook will do some recognition of your face on Facebook. Makes sense. Facebook is a book of faces. And so you can turn that off if you'd rather it didn't detect you uh, and alert you saying, hey, I saw your face on a photo or video. All right. So uh, those are some excellent privacy settings. Again, you can get to all of those. Just start with this privacy checkup, but then move your way on through all four of these guides and then get into the settings. I recommend doing this at least once per quarter. And I will send some uh, reminders out from our really social uh, social media accounts to alert you to that. But it's a great thing to do. And please do share this around with any of your friends who you are, colleagues, family members, etc., that you think would be best uh, served to do this kind of checkup. Please don't forget to subscribe too. We'll have more of these updates coming through. We'll do these privacy checkups for every uh, mainstream platform as well. Thanks for watching and have a fabulous day.